All right, ready for our post-game show as the Tigers get the victory, 56-35 over Branson. Big night for a bunch of Tigers, and we'll start with Jaden Duvall and Jake Jones. Jaden, you had an interception. Uh, talk me through that play and just the defense in general, I thought played uh, pretty well in the first half, maybe struggled a little bit in the second half at times, but what was the defensive plan coming in? Well, we knew that they were going to pass the ball there, but they're run heavy, and we knew that they were pretty, I mean, aggressive in passing the ball. So we had to stop it, and we had a pretty good game plan. And I saw the inside receiver coming down on me, and I saw the ball in the air, and I just attacked and went after it. Almost looked like you kind of held back and jumped in front yeah. at the last minute. Did you, could you tell from his eyes where that ball was going? Oh, yeah. I, t I could tell where that ball was going. How's it feel to get uh, a win by this kind of margin oh, after the close one? So the good. We, we proved what we can do. We proved what we can do. Jake, you had not only an interception, but then you had a touchdown. I thought, I mean, there's been a lot of pretty touchdown plays and passes, but as far as hitting somebody in stride and taking it, full stride into the end zone. I thought that pass from Riley to you was one of the prettiest of the year. Did you know, I mean, you had your man beat. When did you think, ah, this, may, this is a good chance for a touchdown? Uh, right, right as I snapped the ball, I saw him go outside, so I knew I could take him inside and run deep. So. How important was it to follow up the win against Neosho to come down here on the road and win this one? It's a big win for us, big conference win on the road. We're really happy with that one. All right, thanks guys. Uh, we're going to turn over here to Cam Flood and Riley Watkins. Riley, you had a hand in most of the touchdowns. The only one you didn't have a hand in, I think, was Cam's run on the sweep. But um, and Skyler's. Oh uh, yeah, Skyler had a, a run late. Uh, but big night offensively. What did you hope to do against them? And you know what was going right for you? I mean, everything just kind of clicked together tonight. We've been, you know, facing some struggles here and there. Sometimes things have been going. In other games, things have been going well, and they'll go shaky. But tonight, we put it all together, and we played smooth the whole time. To me, it looked like it just maybe everything has clicked at this point in the season. Like, everybody seemed to know where they were supposed to be. Uh, did you sense that at the quarterback position, that people were going where they were supposed to go? And we we sat and show a little bit. had some problems with that, and everybody knew what they were doing tonight. And everything just, like I said, Everybody knew what they were doing it every time, knew why we were doing it, and it's really still in the field of it. Cam, they really held you in check in the first half. We said at halftime, we were like, well, if you'd have said Republic would have a big lead and Cam Flood would have one catch for like 10 or 15 yards, maybe wouldn't have believed it. But second half, you, they were holding you down on the receptions early, but you took that sweep. Um, what happened on that play? Can you tell me what happened. That was my first carry of the year. Um, once the DN missed, I I had a great block from Tyler again, and then I made one catch to the outside, and it was just an open field from there, and I just took the house. Do you feel more comfortable, and do you feel like the, the rest of the offense feels more comfortable at this point in the season as things have gone on? Oh, yeah. it's. It's our offense has gotten so much better since week one. That Neo Show game really helped our helped us in just clicking. That that win was a big win, and I feel like it transferred over onto this this week. Congratulations, guys. Thank you.